we are at using it. Okay, how about us? Would you want to say something about Hello, that's great. Anyone disagree or anyone has anything to add? Anyone want to say something? Yes? Uh, I think in English, uh, if, if, the, if part of our we are living here is already, and pretty much anyone is exposed. In the newspapers, in the, in the television, most people use English as their language. So, unless they live in some land where there is no English or media, uh, I think everyone is supposed to English. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for telling me all this. Yeah. Okay, so when do you think about English? What kind of English do you think of? Like, is there, or are there different Englishes, or is there only one English? Different? It's just a thing. So could you tell us what those different Englishes are? Yes? <laughs> So, so unless you've got, you are aware of different Englishes, right? I just said that I will apologize because I have to change the topic. But later on, if anyone who is interested in my previous topic, I, I have I have my whole book. Yeah, but, but I, what, uh, what year are you in? First year. First year. Exactly. First year. So, of course, I won't be. It's it just not fair and not relevant to talk about all theories, right? Mm -hmm. So that is why, you know, I'd love to talk about this. Hopefully, that will be, that will uh, be more relevant to you. Because my, the, the topic I propose is more relevant to any culture than to master than PhD students. Okay? Yeah. So, now, so the point is that, that you are aware of different Englishes. Like you are aware of at least British, American, or Filipino, Singaporean, or Indian English. And, and also you are aware of the fact that uh, English is is international and people use English, right? Okay. But now the point is that for many of you, when you use English to communicate with people, to foreigners, those foreigners, they may, I, I would imagine that perhaps the the foreigners you you tend to communicate most often are those from your neighboring countries. Am I right? Yes, right. And then, in that sense, people ask a lot of questions. For example, so when we, when we speak enough, if you see yourself as a learner of English, or as a non-native speaker of English, right? And we learn English most of the time to communicate with other non-native speakers of English. That is a reality. Okay, so in that sense, people often uh, often ask the question like, so why, why do we need to study a particular variety of English? For example, why you need to learn American English to speak with people from Singapore or from Korea or even from Australia? And does it mean that American or British English is the only English? in the world. Or oh, actually, they are different varieties of images. Yeah. So that is also another way of thinking about English, or another way of looking at English as an international language. Yeah. I mean more about the international communication. Yeah. And uh, are you still with me? Yes. Right, okay. Yeah. And also please feel free.
free to stop me. At any time, if what I say doesn't make much sense, because I am well aware that this lecture is more relevant to English major or to education major students, right? And um, since most of you here from management, so just stop me, feel free to stop me, and also maybe tell me more what you would need to make it more relevant. Definitely, because just stop, right? Feel free to stop. And tell me if this one makes any sense to you. So really when, what in my opinion, when or actually not just my, many scholars' opinion, when we talk about English as an international language, we actually mean more about the, the international communication of English rather than talking about a particular variety of English. So actually we don't mean British English, we don't mean American English, or we don't mean that English as an international language is something that exists above of all these other languages. It's not really about that, it's really about the philosophy, the ideology underlying the international views of English or the international aspects of English. Does it make any sense? Okay, you're good. Right. Right. Okay. No. So, uh, please look at the screen here. What do you see on the screen? What do you see? Meow. Some, some of you say meow, meow. What, what, what is it? A cat. Right? So you see a cat. And, and what else do you see? The rat. And what are they doing? They're talking, they try to talk with each other. I think you give me a very positive answer, Greg. Yeah? What else? What what else do you think they might be doing? Yeah? Where is the cat and where is the rat? Hmm? Where is the cat? Yeah, so the cat is outside, perhaps the cave, maybe. And where is the rat? Yes, so the rat is inside. And what is the cat trying to do? Get the mouth out, right? Right. And what is the mouth thinking? Or might be thinking? What is it might be thinking? Hmm? Same story. So what, what does it really? Can you guys, you know, if you have to interpret this picture, how do you interpret it? How do you interpret it? Uh, maybe the cat represents like uh, something else, and they can speak in international English with the mouse. So, uh, your friends say that the rat or the cat might rep the rat or the cat the rat the cat might represent something else, and he because he doesn't speak international English, isn't it good? Good interpretation, isn't it? Yes. yes. Do you have any other ways to interpret it? Just think of anything. What does it mean here? And what what language does the cat use? Cat language. Meow, meow, right? And so does the or is the sorry, is the cat or the rat familiar with the cat's language? It knows it, right? So the rat knows Meow, meow, it means, okay, I know who you are, you are a cat. Right, so maybe because of that, there is, it, it will be difficult for the cat to get the right. 